Hey, I hope you and your families are doing well. There's four main parts to every single trade, whether you are an intraday scalper, a day trader, a swing trader, or a position trader. Now, those four parts of a trade are also trainable skill sets, which means you can improve in them. So what are the four main parts? It's number one, how do you identify a high quality setup? Number two is how do you control the risk to create an asymmetric risk versus reward trading opportunity? Number three is how do you mitigate the risk? Number four is how do you optimize the profits? What are the selling rules, selling guidelines that you use to help you optimize the profits both in terms of monetary gain but efficiency of the monetary gain so that's the time value of the trade so as i said whether you're a scalper a day trader a swing trader or a position trader bar by bar deliberate practice can help you improve in those specific areas of a trade you can get better at identifying better at controlling risk better at risk mitigation better at optimizing the profit so what you're going to see here is a pre-recorded bar by bar session that i filmed for my members in peloton where i go from the ipo date for me i'm a swing trader so you see me on the daily time frame talking about the usual candlesticks, shake out demand tails, gap down reversal bars and trigger bars, how I think about identifying the setups, controlling the risk, the risk mitigation and optimizing profits. The spreadsheet that you see me filling in, I will put a link to it down in the comments section below. So I really hope you enjoy this video. I really hope it encourages you to start doing your own bar by bar deliberate practice sessions, whether you're practicing on the one minute chart, the daily chart, the one hour chart or the weekly chart. I really do think deliberate practice is a fantastic way for you to be improving your trading skill set in those four main areas. So thank you very much for the support on the channel and I really hope you enjoy this bar by bar session. So let's go and load up Peloton, right? So what I've done is zoomed right in on Peloton. So you can see I'm filming this on Friday, the, well, Friday, not Friday, the 24th of May. That's going to be the final day. I'm filming this on the 20th of May, 2024. So I've zoomed right in on Peloton. I'm going to press Alt G like this, and then that's going to give you the date. If you just go back to way back when and say like 2000 before Peloton IPO'd like this, that'll bring you right there. That's going to be the first day. Then go for your bar by bar replay function like that. There we go. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start going bar by bar in Peloton, I'm going to be looking for the um, the usual the usual setup. So I'm going to wait till at least we get kind of the, the 10 day EMA coming on there. So then that just gives me a little bit of reference point. Okay, we've got the 10 day EMA on there now. So let's play this forward. Okay, a little bit of strength coming through there around the 10 day EMA. Kind of seeing if it can set a low pivot. We've obviously got earnings coming up. That's a little shake out demand tail, isn't it? But so it's interesting, it's coming down to these lows here. So this is a bit more of like a Wyckoff spring. So it's coming back down to those lows. You've got the volume drying up, a little, a little uptick in the relative strength line. So it looks terrible on these two bars here. But the fact it's coming down to a potential support inside bar, well, that's interesting. Good ADR, 6.95%. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. What's that? 3%. Well, it's going to be a little bit more if I snap it to the to the high like that, about 3.5. I think I'm going to try that. I think I'm going to try that. Yeah, 3.5 percent. I look to take half of the position off into the 10 day EMA. Let's see if it gets filled. Ah, it does get filled. Nice. You see that? That's, that one there's a little bit different, isn't it? See how it's pulling back down here? I promise I haven't just stared at Peloton for 20 minutes and be like, I'm going to take it there. To, I, didn't, I didn't do that. But you see how this is pulling back down here like this? And you get that in there. Okay. So what I've got there is I've got the entry. Plus, I took half of the position off there. Okay, half of the position off there. So let's play this forward. Okay, we're still okay. Got profit here. So now what we could do is, well, we'll just leave the stop loss there. Otherwise, it's going to get really, 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 com really confusing. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to hold into the earnings or not? That's pretty volatile. The earnings is going to be the next day. What I'm going to do is at the close out. I don't know the implied move, so I'll tell you what I think I'd do ahead of the earnings. I'm going to take a quarter off that. So we've had half here and then a quarter, a quarter here. Then I'm going to hold it into the earnings. Okay, is that the earnings bar or is it after the close? Okay, and then it's another tight, tight kind of bar in there. Similar bar there, but mm, not too sure on that one. Okay, and that's kind of like a gap down reversal bar. And now we're around, so you see this developing base here, you get this higher low form, you get a shake out demand tail, not quite an inside bar, but the volume's dried up, and then you get a low volume gap down reversal bar. I quite like that one. Here you go. So I'll go through the high, through the low, initial stop, 5.5%, off an ADR of 7%. It's okay. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is free roll this one by taking half off there. Obviously, here we're just assuming, per assuming perfect execution. So I'm going to take half off there into these kind of local highs around this area. Okay, that's how I'm planning this straight up. Okay, so we've got our entry uh, there. I think we probably need to tag this maybe pink. So I'm still probably looking to free roll 
uh, looking to free roll there, I'd probably move my stop loss up now to the lower that shake out demand tail, bring that free roll target down a little bit. Okay, good. We've been able to take half the position off there. So let me go entry there and then we take half off there like that. So now we've got two trades that are live. It's a little bit confusing with all the um, all the lines on the chart, isn't it? Okay, it's starting to come out of the IPO base. That's nice. So we've got two trades live. One's got a quarter left. The other has got half left. So we use some moving averages as trailing stops. Obviously, I'm not bringing stop loss ups and stuff like that. Of course, I would be in real trading. So first close below the 10 day EMA, that's going to be an exit there for a quarter. So both positions, we've got a quarter left and I'm going to be using the, the 21 day EMA as a, as a guide there. Okay, check out the Montel on it. Could I? Could I? Oh, begins with a seven. It's too wide for me. Begins with a seven. Yeah, it's too, it's too wide for me. Uh, oh, that's closing right on it. What I would do now is stop my quarter stop. I would just put it there underneath the low of that, and I'd be like, oh, stop me out, stop me out kind of thing. Is that the lowest point? 29.86. Yeah, just be underneath that bar by, by a penny. Okay, little inside bar. Little inside bar. I'd still have my stop losses there on these two positions for that quarter. I'd then be through the high, stop underneath the low. It's kind of tightening around the 1021. It's kind of what it did down here. It seems to it seems to like doing that. Through the high, if I will round it up to six percent, so six percent off an ADR of nine percent, it's about two thirds. Try and free roll this one, probably take half off at one time. So let's try that. Does it get filled on that day there? doesn't move through the high of that day there however it's continuing to tighten isn't it I quite like that it's kind of tightening yeah I want to just it pop back through let's see okay six percent again it's about two-thirds but this one okay so we've got an entry there so this is then going to be our entry here so we've got three positions live trying to stay with me on this one what I try and do is raise my stop loss up uh, raise my stop up like that maybe even a little bit more and then just free roll into the close I'd probably do that so entry plus half to free roll I'd just do it like this I don't know why I was using arrows there and now I've used the annotation tool that's how I'd be um, that's how I'd be there to free roll that one yeah okay uh, is that one knocked out 39.7 is where we had the stop 31 is the low of that bar so we're still just in it Okay, so we we'll exit there. So we've got one, we've got one break-even trade, and then I would exit the other two down here. So let's go do the break-even trade first. So we go over here, and that for me is going to be a more of a pullback buy, isn't it? So let's go over here and let's go pullback and let's go Peloton and zero zero like that. We can just remove those ones there. Now let's go and add these other ones as that will make this available somewhere on the um, spreadsheet for you. We'll do the most recent one first. So we were there and then there. So 4%, so we're free rolling at 8%. So we've got half at eight. 8.32 and then 27. So if we go here and we go 8.32 and 27 like this, don't know why I did the 27 there, um, and then 8 and 8 like that. So that's then going to give us our average gain there of 18.5% on that entry. It's more of like a low, a low pivot for me. So if we go here, low pivot, Peloton, and then the average there is going to be 18.75. So then you can just see how that is um, working. It's just taking the average of those ones there, and that's how we, that's how we input them there to get those ones working so that deals with that one there so we can now delete these lines trying to stay with me as we do this do this do this like that so what we did with this one is we took off a half there to free roll we took off a quarter ahead of the earnings into that pop and it was quite volatile wasn't it and then we took off the final quarter over here so to free roll the trade, we're selling at two times the initial stop, which is going to be 7%. If we took some off to the close there, that would be 14. So we've got 7, 14, and 39. So we go 7, 7, 14, and then 39 like that. And we'll call that a pullback buy. Some of these figures start working a little bit better, 16 dot. And five like that so then obviously we're just going to be focusing on kind of the january um stuff here when we get a couple of other trades in there a couple of losing trades will come along no doubt too so there we go let's keep going with this then okay to the 50 do we get something <sighs> shake out the martel just underneath the 50 to the region right let's see what the initial stop is shall we oh six percent shall we yeah go on why not why not let's try and free roll half one times initial stop Okay, we're in, so that's going to be our entry, just here. 
Mm -mm -mm. What would I do here? I'm tempted to bump the stop up. Yeah, what I'm going to do is bump my stop loss up now, lower of, low of that part like that. So I'm going to decrease the risk on the trade. Nice being able to free roll it. So see what we did there? We brought it down like that. Okay, we brought those free roll targets down. So stop is now here at 26.47. Let's see if this one wants to pop back up through. Okay, we're popping back through. Oh, I don't really like that bar. Mm, we'll sit with it. We'll let it ride. We'll let it ride. Okay. Cap down Russell. I'll well, shake out to the 50. Tight little bar. Ooh. Thinking about an ad. Thinking about an ad. The volume's put me off a little bit. Come back by that. Rolled out of bed. I'll just exit. Exit the position. So in terms of our free roll, we had we moved the stop loss up. So I'm a free rolling at one times. Um, one times that did i mess these ones up by the way i think i did didn't i i was doing it at two times that when i should have done it at one times that shouldn't i um i'll go back and update those in a in a second it was that one there and it was that one there wasn't it i did those ones wrong uh, apologies on that we'll go do that i was times in them by two i shouldn't have done that that's skewed it i said hang on let's go into let's go and do this one here i knew i shouldn't have done this the kind of uh first thing when i um was up i hadn't even had my full coffee yet Okay, so four percent. So we took some off there at four percent. Then I would just exit there. So we've got half a half the position at four percent, and then the other half at 0.5 percent. So what we do is we go four percent, 0.5 percent like that, and then that's going to be. I know it's not high base breakout, but I'm just going to put it in there just so you can see how the figures then start working. 2.25 percent. So then we kind of do everything um, here. This one here, that's going to be 3.5 and 3.5 like that. And then that's going to bring that one down to 15% uh, as the average gain. And this one here, just for brevity's sake, I'll just take that down to 10 to just 10%, okay? Because um, I messed that up over there, didn't I? I was times it by two, and we're free rolling at half the position. Apologies about that. You may have been shout, shouting at your screen saying you're doing that wrong. Uh, this one here, hmm. Interesting. It's a high low shakeout demand tail, isn't it? Here it was quite good because it was like a real flush down. Here it's kind of a bit of a feeble rally run into it i'd rather see it kind of pop and maybe set here Is that just doesn't look quite right to my eyes hey ho what do we mean okay trade wouldn't it okay uh, shake out the martel shake out the martel that looks quite wide to me relative to the 20 day adr percentage about on it we've got earnings coming up as well uh, i'm going to try it. for the sake of this let's get some trades going i'm going to try and free roll it one times and this will stop into those highs let's see what happens click off that like this there we go okay so we've got our entry like that what i'm going to do is bump the stop up underneath the low of that bar there see if we can free roll great 32 34 would be our target got to 32 36 we'd be able to free roll take half up there at one times the stop loss so that's now going to be circa five percent we've got earnings coming up a little bit of time before the earnings let's see let's see Okay, running up into the earnings. That's the day before the earnings. I don't know about the implied move and stuff, so I'm going to take a quarter off there. Okay, see what happens on the earnings. Okay, gap, gaps down on the earnings. No move. Took some off into that. So what we've got is we've got a five percent gain. Take a quarter off there, five eight, and then let's say we get knocked out here. So five eight and then minus five. So we go over here and we go five five eight and then minus five. That'll give an average gain of. 3.25%, so then we go Peloton, and then we go 3.25% like that. Okay, let's keep going with it. Let's see if it can kind of reset, like it above the moving averages. Okay, see that change of character down here, by the way? This is obviously the lows around uh, around COVID, we know what was going on in uh, Q1 of 2020, right? But see this here? Shake out the mantel, shake out the mantel, clear change of character. Could I go aggressive in there? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. But let's see if it can now set. Oh, tight little inside bar. So now you get this quasi kind of cut and a handle building there. The volume is dried up. Tight little inside bar. That's going to be a tight stop. Look at the ADR, 11%. That's quick. Here we go. 3% of an ADR of 11%. Yes, please. Here we go. Okay. So we've got our entry there. I'd probably push the stop up. Push the stop up to then free roll. Take half off at the close. So entry plus half plus half like that so then that means our stop loss is circa two and a half percent see if this thing can go so see how it creates that low pivot okay 10 day 21 day oh, this is remember first kind of pop i thought it was going to go more than that didn't 
test. So I'll try and hold through that and I'll close below. Oh, oh I don't like that. Um, I, I just exit the whole whole kit and caboodle there. So selling half at 2.5% and then that's going to be like three, uh, a little bit more. Uh, so I'll just take off the remaining half there. Um, so that's going to be 2.5, and that's uh, mid pivot. So that's what that L slash MB, so that's low mid pivot. And then the average gain 4.75. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we'll keep going. See if it can set. Nice gap down reversal bar there. Yeah, there, there, like that. See how it gaps down, opens on the low. 8%. It's a bit wide, isn't it? But off the ADR, I'm trying to get some trades going as well. So you guys can kind of see how I think about managing them. So here, that's going to be our entry. We've got earnings coming up. Give it one more bar. Okay, it's starting to go. What I do here, just reverse engineer it like that. Okay, great. Free roll it there. So now we've taken half off. Stop is there. How many days do we have? Six of May. So we've got one more bar. Okay, I don't know what the implied move is. It's run into these local highs. I'm just going to take a quarter off there. So we've got a quarter left into the earnings. Let's see if this thing wants to go, go gadget. Okay, go, go gadget. Nice. So we've still got a quarter left. Let's see how I want to play it. If I want to do 10 day or the 21 day. Tightening needs a bit of a bigger base. It's a flag. Volume stride up. Yeah, why not? There we go. Do, do, do. Let's go there, round it up 4% off an ADR of 7%. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we've got an entry there, so we've got two going. Uh, real life, I probably would have done that and free rolled it into that pot. It is what it is. Okay, so we've got a losing trade, and then I'm just gonna, ooh, yeah, probably exit. Would I? No, I'd probably go 21 with that with that one. Okay, so that one there, gonna have a loss of 4%. That's more of like a higher base breakout. So higher base breakout, Peloton, uh, 4%. So we go and put that one in. So that's that one done. A bit of a short base, wasn't it? Uh, I'm gonna keep gonna keep this one going. See what happens around the 21. Oh, shake out the mantel. You see that? There we go. Shake out the mantel on the 21. Let's go there. There. Six percent. Ran up seven off an ADR of seven percent. Yeah. Okay. So that's gonna be the entry like that so we've got our entry can i then move this up yeah i can i'll probably move my stop up there and just take half off um there so then we free rolled it so then we're selling see how we just so we just take the risk out of the trade like that okay a little bit volatile okay starting to go so nice to kind of still have that quarterback this one looks like it wants to now go okay into the base highs so again it's kind of pop testing action let's see if this thing can reverse Shake out tomato. Oh, could I add? Could I add? Could I add? Could I add? Yeah, let's try and add through there. Trying to push myself, be aggressive here. Six percent off an ADR of six percent. Stay with me. We could have three trades going. Yep. So that one there. And what I do is just push this up a little bit. Free roll that into the close. So it's still going to be around about five percent or so. Yeah, just call it five percent. Keep numbers nice and round. So here, let me just copy that one, just hold control, pull it across like that. Okay, so we've got three go three going here. Try and stay with me. Oh, supply shoot, don't really like that. Okay, come on, come out of this base. Uh, inside bar, could have added that. There'd be a lot of lines on the chart, wouldn't there? Okay, so, do, 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 10 day, 21 day. Okay, good trend, good trend, good trend. Let's try and nail it. Looking for closes below the 10 day and the 21 day. Clear change of character there. Don't like it. So what I would do is I would take um, a quarter off with one trade and then a quarter off with another trade like this. Okay, and I'm just gonna color code them for my benefit, for your benefit. So if you imagine these ones down here, just gone quarter quarter. So each trade now has a quarter of the position left and we're looking to ride the 21 day basically okay close below it uh, and i have do you know what i was a little bit too quick there i would just take it all off there um that bar right there so let's go and just do them in this right here so we've got five percent and then oh that was the wrong one wasn't it five percent and then 35 percent and 28 percent so 5 35 28 so 5 5 35 28 and that's going to be a pullback slash high it was more of a pullback wasn't it so this one here that's going to be 18.25 oh, just to tighten the wrong one come on jackie boy there you go one peloton 
18.25 like that okay that deals with uh, that one there and then this one another pullback buy so that's going to be 2.5 so we're selling it at let me remove that we're selling half at 2.5 percent and then we're there so 2.5 48 and 41 48 and 41 2.5, 2.5, 48, 41. That's going to be another pullback buy. We're going to run out of space there in a second, aren't we? Uh, Peloton and then 20.5 like that. You can obviously fast forward this part if you want to fast forward this part. And then this one hit. So what we had is we took half off at one time. So that's going to be 5%. We then took a little bit off ahead of the earnings. So 5, 12, and then that bar there, 81. 5. 12 81 i'm just going to put it over here if you want to add more rows go right click like that insert row uh, insert row above and they should all um they should all work peloton and then 25.75 like that okay let's just make sure these are displaying as percentages there we go 25.75 there you go like that okay so on to the um on to the next one let's keep going uh, that wasn't tight inside bars. So, oh, I like that bar. Little shake out demand tail. Peloton seems to like shake out demand tail, isn't it? Shake out demand tail to the lows of the base. Volume straight up. 5% stop off an ADR and 6%. Yeah, it's fine. That'll be our entry there. So that's going to be our entry. I could push it up a little bit like that. Yeah, I think I'd probably do that. Entry plus fear, obviously. You get a good insight to how we think about trading, the risk mitigation, just flow through the phases, right? There. Okay, shake out to Montel. Mm -hmm. Okay, could I have added on the shake out to Montel? Yeah, maybe. Maybe not a big fan of that bar, how it's kind of just faulted here. We'll give it one more bar. Now it's on the 21. I would lighten it up a little bit, take a quarter off there, just lighten it a little bit. I know it's I know it's a shake out to Montel, but uh, look at the deterioration in relative strength. I'll just lighten it up. Uh, that there for me, I just that there would just be the exit. So that's going to be uh, half at four percent. That one there at four percent. As um, who oh knows? It's going to be a little bit, a little bit more. Here we go. Uh, that be we moved it up, didn't we? That's why. So we took half off. At, let's say the stop rate is two percent. So we've got two percent, four percent, and this one here is seven percent. So we've got 2274 in that order. I'm just going to put it over here so you guys get a sense. Peloton and then 3.75 like that. I just don't really like this deterioration relative strength and how it's pulling back. Oh, nice change of character. Gap down verse bar. Did you see it? Through the high, 6% of an ADR, 5%. Yeah, it's kind of fine. Okay, we've got our entry there. And nothing I can do too much in terms of trying to free roll that one as of yet. Ooh, don't know why I did that. Press the, press the wrong button. Uh, so what would I have done basically? Well, there is going to be our free roll, right? So we're going to take half off there and then it kind of, I don't know what I did there. I pressed the down arrow, I think, to play it forward. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, okay, so pop, testing action. I mean, maybe could have added on that bar or that bar. Hey ho. Um, okay, so we've got half the position left. Looking for closers below the black and the blue line. Change character, don't like that bar there. I would put a stop there, I think, for quarter. Yeah, don't like that part. Okay, so quarter is taken out on that bar there. And then let's hold 21 gap down reversal bar. I'm going to be adding here. That one there will just be at the close. Okay, um, Okay, nice. So we've got our entry. Maybe able to free roll this one as well. I think so. If we push this up. So push it up, push it up, push it up. Where's that going to get us to? Yeah, entry plus take half off there so this one we've got a quarter left this one we've got a uh, half left Ooh, don't like how that got rejected into the base highs i'm gonna lighten that one up there take a quarter of the position off so both we've got a quarter left looking to ride the 21 day ema nice reversal bar there so 21 21 21 basically ride it ride it ride it 21 21 tight bar um Hmm. Go on then. Through the high stop under the knee below. Like that. Okay, that's gonna be our entry. If I didn't have a position, I'd probably be thinking about a position. Not enough room there to be free rolling it. Okay, lost there, so that's gonna be around up to four percent. 
we'll just go put it in here so we can get the things working. So that's going to be 4%, and then I would be exiting the prior one clear, clear, or the prior two close below the 21 day EMA. So what have we got here? We've got uh, we've got we moved our stop loss up, so we're free rolling at three and a half percent, and then we took some off there. So we've got uh, let's just call it three three, and then this one over here thirty six. So we've got three three three, and then thirty six like that. And we'll just put this one over here, one peloton. Then there's not necessarily like high base breakouts and stuff like that. I'm just trying to speed this part up, as this is probably a boring part. So I'm just putting in um, putting in figures, right? So this trade over here. What do we have? We were in this one for a little while, weren't we? So, okay, we had an initial stop loss of 5 to 8% because they kind of messed it up. So, we're free rolling at 5%, and then we took some off here. So, 5, 23, and then 74. So, what we do is go 5, 5, 23, and then 74 like that. And we'll just put this one in over here this time. Peloton, 6, 7, 5 like that. Okay, that's all fine. Let's see what happens as it did close below the 21 day EMA to the 50. Do we get something? Okay, that's the earnings reaction. I shake out the Montel at the 50. It's going to be pretty wide. Ooh, inside bar at the 50. Here we go, like that, like that. 6%. Wow, that's wide. Um, with like a trigger bar. 7.5%. Yeah, try it. Okay, that's going to be our entry. Probably. Real life, could I have been pushing it up like that and then free rolling into the 10 day EMA? Yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, we knocked out on that bar there. What's the low? 99.50. Yeah, knock down that bar there. Okay, 6% uh, loss on that one. And then let's go and put that one over there. So Peloton, 6% loss. Let's see how we're doing at the minute. So it's these January figures here. We've done 11 trades. We've had three losers. Oh, sorry, 14 trades had 11 wins, three losers. We've had an average gain of 13.14%, an average loss of 4.69%, win rate of 79%. Okay, I'm doing okay so, um, so far. <laughs> Does it set around a clustering of those moving averages? It might do. Low pivot, look how the volume stair step down, a little uptick in the RS line there as well, like that. Okay, 5% off an ADR of nearly 7%. Yeah, quite like that. Okay, what's the lower of the bar? I don't know. Okay, the lower of that bar there is 1 in 5.69, so it wouldn't have stopped out whether it kind of opened and went down. Uh, just entry plus take half off there. Right? Let's just do that. Okay, let's see what this wants to do. It's a good size base. Tightening again. Can I add? Can I add? Can I add? Yeah, I think I can. Through there like that. Appreciate there's a fair few lines on the chart. 3%, about half the 20 day ADR percentage. Um, I'm just going to have to delete these lines. So just bear with me a second because I can't see too well what's happening in here. If I can't see, you guys are probably struggling to see. So what happens on that bar there? So it opens. What's the low of the bar? Did we get stopped? It's 11306. I don't know if we would have been stopped there. Should we have a look on the one hour chart? What does the one hour chart tell us? Would we have been stopped? Uh, so it opens. Okay, so we still have the trade. Why? Because it opened here. So it gapped down, opened, sorry, it opened here, went down, slightly undercut, and then moved through the higher the bar. So then it didn't then come back down and stop us out. See what I mean? So Prior close here, opens here, sells off, and then recovers, and then we get filled. Um, that so we've got two trades that are live at this moment in time. So that's just going to be the entry bar. Okay, we're going to get stopped out on that one. And oh, I don't like how that one rolled over. I think I would exit the entire trade there. So that one, we're going to have loss of four percent. Let's just go here. It's more of a mid pivot breakout, isn't it? One peloton, four percent, and then delete those like that uh, this one here I would just exit it so we were then selling that one at a gain of 4% and then break even yeah I just take it off there don't like it so 4400 zero, zero. that's going to give us an average gain one and an average gain of 2% <clears throat> like this we may have to put some new rows in let's keep going with it oh and then you get a gap down reversal out okay I would then target that like that Shall stop? Oh no, I wouldn't. It's nine percent stop. I end it. Good bar. Gap down reverse bar. A little trigger bar on a clustering of ten twenty one fifty. Not bad. Five percent stop. Yeah, we'll give it, give it a whirl. We'll give it a whirl. <coughs> so <clears throat> real life, I would have been free rolling it. Uh, in there, entry. 
because you see it reached one times. Could I move it up like that? Yeah, I'd probably do that. Stop underneath the low, just free roll it to the close. Plus half there, just want to see this go go gadget. Okay, we've got a good size base here as well. Good size base, RS line improving. Still got a quarter. 10 day and 21 day. That's going to be a quarter right there. Tight inside bar. Mm, I'm not quite feeling it. Tight little pullback to the 21. Yeah, let's give that a whirl. Go there, there, like that. 3% stop. Let's try it. Nice. So we've had our entry. And then, well, I could have taken the third off, but I've been doing half. I don't know. So let's just keep it as half. Okay, nice. Do, do, do. Um, thinking about adding, thinking about adding. I should have added there, shouldn't I? Should have added there. Okay, this one here. I don't really like how that one's pulled back. I'll take a quarter off there. And kind of, yeah, deterioration in the RS. I'll take a quarter off there for this one. Just lighten it up, basically. Oh, tight little bar, tight little bar. Tight little bar. Let's try. Let's try. Okay, 3% stop. Okay, so we've got our entry there. There's a fair few lines on the chart, aren't there? Trying to stay with me. Okay, we've got our entry there. Doo -doo. So we can't reasonably free roll it. Maybe intraday, I could have had a shot at free rolling it by pushing the stop up. But we'll see. Okay, there I can. I'm just going to move this up like that. And then that can then push up like that. So I'm just going to take half off that, free roll it. Half like that. Then forward. Don't like that supply shoot. Okay, so that one there. The final one is knocked out break even, and then all the other ones are going to be exiting. So the final one there is going to be break even, and we'll just call that a low pivot. Uh, one like this. So we go one, we go peloton like that. So that's going to be a break even trade there. So we can now just clean this up like this. If we then go and do this one, we sold half there at a gain of like at 3% and then we took that off there at 3% as well because that's going to be roughly one time so 3-3 three, three, and then one like this so we go 3-3 three, three, and then 3 for a third and then one like that uh, and then to add a new row go here and go insert new row above like that we'll get peloton 2.5% get okay, that deals with that one and then we've got one more final one to go and do this one here so we took half off at half off at let's just say two percent so half off at two percent and then 22 percent 23 percent so two two 22 23 12.75 percent i'm just going to put it in here peloton hopefully this is giving you a good insight into how i think about trading let's see uh, you guys do it as well and if you have um, any feedback let me know Okay, okay, earnings reaction. Was that after close? Pre-market, let's have a look. After close, okay, so that's kind of the earnings reaction. Bit of a nothing burger. Tight little bar, little low pivot, shake out, shake out. Yeah, don't mind that. We'll see initial stop, 4%, Canadian R5%. Oh, no, and I forced that trade. Bit funky on the earnings. Okay, 4% loss on that one there. It's kind of like a pullback pie, isn't it? 4%. Yeah, you can do this, you can do this. So if we get anything around the 50, yeah, it's an inside bar around the 50, but I'm not too keen on some of those ones. I don't know. Maybe I could have been free rolled it. Okay, below the moving averages, I have no interest in it. Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 no. It's got to get back above the moving averages and look strong. Below the 200. No interest, no interest. You see that red line? That's a 200. No interest, no interest, no interest. No interest, no interest, no interest. Oh, maybe a little bit more interest. So just literally here, right? Just obviously it's quite a good one for the price cycle. Phase one, phase two, and then phase three. And then obviously stock just gets obliterated in phase four. So just by going below the 200, no interest, no interest, no interest, right? Just no interest in it. You do have a nice earnings reaction there. Okay, decent size base back above the moving averages. Let's see if anything wants to set up. Okay, pull back down to the 21, but mm, it's not really a shakeout demand tail. 
Okay, pull back down, shake out. What's the initial stop? Mm, I would have liked it to be a like stronger close shake out demand tail on that bar there. Okay, now it's like coming back in, shake out demand tail just underneath. I don't mind that. Just underneath 6% off an ADR of that. Yeah, okay. Let's try that. Okay, that's going to be the entry there. If I didn't have a position, I think I'd probably be thinking about it. I'd probably just move my stop up uh, to there like that. Underneath and then the lower that bar, so 3% stop. Let's see what it wants to do. Knock us out, that's fine. Um, if it didn't have a position, I then would have been targeting on that. So 3% stop, that's going to be a pullback buy. It's okay, let's do that. May reset, maybe it comes back down to the 50 or something. Okay, if you shake out demand tails to the 50. Oh, it wasn't a bad gap down reverse, but I wasn't. Okay, nice shake out demand tail, pop high, low, shake out demand tail, volume's low, RS line ticked up a little bit. Let's see what the initial stop is 6% on the edge isn't it okay never move through the high of the prior day high that bar there is 20 is 1364 it's got to move through the high obviously using i've got tactical buy stop limit orders and assuming uh, perfect execution which is obviously rare which is why i'm trying to make it a little bit harder with rounding up the losses and rounding down the winning trades just looks terrible 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 below the 200 just no interest no interest no interest there you go final day so literally when it's below the 200 i have no interest in it and then we just avoid basically all of that where peloton goes down 98 percent 98 percent so that's how you trade through something that goes down 98 percent. you just get i have no interest when it's below the 200 day um i wouldn't be involved kind of here is a basin and coming out maybe some ipo bases but that absolutely no interest so I will review this really quickly. Okay, so it's not this stuff here, it's here. So total, total trades, 20 trades there, 14 winners, 6 losers, risk versus reward of 2.76, win rate 70%, average gain 11.52, average loss of 4.17%. So yeah, pretty pretty pleased that. I encourage you guys. I think that is the fastest way to improve at your trading if you're very deliberate in terms of what are you trying to do from an identific identification standpoint, how you're looking to control the risk, how you're looking to mitigate the risk, how you're looking to optimize the profits, because that is what actual trading looks like. Like you read a lot of books, you have ideas about what, what you think, like that's trading. Like trading is, how do you identify setups? How do you control the risk? How do you mitigate the risk? How do you optimize the profits? Selling rules, selling guidelines that you are using to help you optimize the profits, both in terms of monetary gain, but efficiency of the monetary train, of, of the monetary gain. So that's what trading looks like. So my view is if you want to get better at trading, do trading related things. Okay. You can read books, read books, read books, watch videos, do this, do that. But actually at the end of the day, you've got to be looking to increase your skill set. So I think bar by bar deliberate practice like that is a really good way to be increasing your skill set. So there's a difference between knowledge and skill sets. So your knowledge may have just gone up watching that video, hopefully, that you've seen how I kind of wiggle and jiggle things, but then you want to improve your own skill set. So bar by bar deliberate practice, actual trading, reviewing your trades, feedback loop for yourself are going to be very, very, very important. So we will put this spreadsheet somewhere on the uh, somewhere on the platform that's available for you to um, for you guys to use it. So thank you very much for that. If you want to send me your results of bar by bar in Peloton, very, very happy to um, to take a look at them, take a look at any trades. If you send me the trading view chart, the link will do uh, will do fine. You can send me send me the chart, and you'd like a little bit of feedback, then I'm very happy to uh, very happy to do that. So thank you very much for your patience while I'm spending spending some time with the family, and I will see you in a future video.